How high does your upper limit go? Hey guys, it's Gina Sue, your life coach for go-getters. Now today I'm going to talk about upper limit, how to raise your upper limit, and what exactly an upper limit even means. Now once I met with a coach who I really looked up to, and he said to me, Gina, I wonder how high your upper limit goes. I would assume it's pretty high. Now at the time, I didn't really understand and I went home thinking, was that a compliment or an insult? I'm not really sure. So it turns out that an upper limit is how successful and happy you think you can be. Whether it be health, happiness, or wealth, it's your perception of how much of that you think you can let into your life. So at the end of the day, it was a wonderful compliment, but I really wanted to learn more about upper limits and how I could keep pushing it higher and higher. So there's two approaches to your upper limit, which I like to think of as nature and nurture. For a lot of us, we do have an ingrained perception of how we see ourselves in the world, and in many ways it is in our DNA, but it doesn't mean that it can't be trained and learned. Much like learning how to play tennis, you can practice and work on techniques and be aware of your own current techniques and get better and learn more over time, which I think is awesome. It's fair game for everyone. So this term was coined by Gay Hendricks, the amazing author of the book The Big Leap, and it really means how much goodness are you capable of letting in. Here's a wonderful example that Gay Hendricks writes in his book. He was doing some work and he was really proud of himself and he leaned back in his chair and he just took a big sigh and he was feeling really good. And then all of a sudden he was thinking, oh my gosh, my daughter's at camp. I hope she's doing well. Maybe she's nervous or it's not going well. Oh my gosh, I'm so worried. Let me call the camp counselor and see how she's doing. Of course, nothing was wrong. His daughter was doing perfectly fine, but he realized in a moment of goodness where he was reaping the benefits of his hard work and enjoying his work in life, all of a sudden he kind of stopped himself and started self-sabotaging and worrying and overthinking and building anxiety when it really wasn't necessary. So here are some other ways in which you could be resisting your own upper limit. You're worrying a lot, you're not communicating your truth, you're not good at keeping your promises, and you have a lot of blame and criticism on other people. You're getting sick, and yes, physically getting sick. Sometimes life is going so well that you just allow your body to break down and let that stress take over, which results in getting sick. Or a very common one is ruining relationships, whether it be with family, friends or even in your business or work life just picking a fight for no reason or deciding to just drop the ball on something out of the blue and turns out to be a bad result now to combat all of this and to raise your upper limit over time here are some solutions number one addressing your limiting beliefs as you come across them if you find yourself having negative self-talk or wanting to self-sabotage stop yourself in that moment and realize hmm Am I just resisting all the goodness and success that could be coming in? And try to train yourself to take the opposite choice and say, hey, maybe everything's gonna turn out for the better and I'm gonna keep pushing forward. Number two, realize that more success and money does not mean less friends, family, and love. Oftentimes there's this great fear of success that you'll have less time, you'll be less loved by the people who currently love you, or maybe if you start earning more money than your friends, they won't be your friends anymore. And that's the thing is that is 100% not the case. I get stuck in that thinking sometimes too. But the truth is, if they're meant to be your friends or family and love you for who you are, they should be happy and excited about your success. So let that success in. And lastly, catch yourself if you realize that you are dimming your light. Sometimes we want to be humble and not hurt other people's feelings or outshine other people. But anytime you are dimming your light and not being exactly who you are and who you're meant to be or even who you aspire to be, then you're making everything darker and more dim for everyone else. So if you can have a high upper limit, then that also means your friends and family can have a high upper limit too, and all of you will grow together. So I hope you go out there and now you understand what this upper limit means, is how much love and success and goodness can you let into your life. It's a great way to figure out if you have a habit of self-sabotaging, and if you can start to just catch those moments and change them on the spot, then you are well on your way to living the most 
joyful, happy, giving, and grateful life ever. That is my personal goal and journey that I'm working through. So I hope we can go on this journey together and have the highest upper limit possible. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week. Please continue the conversation below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. It's what keeps me going and making all these videos for free. I'm always learning and writing notes and um, really always happy to help. So I hope you guys engage, like, and subscribe. I'm so grateful and I will see you next time on next week's video.